in two hours, I knocked out 16 Ramalan meals. Yeah, and not gross freezer meals, not like something without flavor, spice and marinade. Oh no, this is the good stuff. So you can relax all Ramadan and not be in the kitchen, connect with Allah, and still have really good food at the end of the day. I have an ebook below linked totally free with recipes and exactly how to do it too. Let's go. <laughs> enjoying the beautiful weather and sometimes it's really nice in Ramadan if you can say dhikr outside subhanallah alhamdulillah la ilaha illallah I hear the birds chirping it's actually lovely so today I want to take you inside our kitchen and show you that we actually in Ramadan there's two things usually that are in people's mind in Ramadan right what's in people's mind in Ramadan I want to get close to Allah and food <laughs> so I don't do a lot of cooking in Ramadan although I have huge spreads as you'll probably see from my Instagram and um, I'm gonna show you right now inside how I have pre prepped Ramadan and kind of have everything ready so that food is not an issue but yet it is still a big event at the end of the day let's go so what you guys are gonna notice in this entire video is just me just marinating things and then putting them in the freezer just like letting them marinate and it's just like I'm gonna make everything extremely easy all the recipes I'm using today are from this free ebook it's an ultimate guide for the entire ramadan it's how i stay mindful and close and connected with allah but this one particular recipe is just not but it's generally just me putting spices and yogurt and lemon and doing that in general and then freezing things this process just over and over again and what you're going to see right here is this recipe is in the book and it is the yemeni kebsa it's actually uh, something you could do with any meat just salt it pepper it up add some spice mix i have the spice mix recipes in the ebook as you can see right here we've toasted them up we've ground them up we're not buying spices from the store this is literally the difference between what makes things taste so bold and so good even though you're not spending a lot of time to prepare them and this is kind of our secret of how we make everything super delicious in Ramadan the other thing that makes it super delicious is a lot of like garlic and onion stuff like that but that could be annoying to chop so we've pre-done and we had this in the other video um, like this garlic we have um, pressed it out and then put it into little ice cube tray to get it in there so that you can just add it as you're marinating. While that is going on, I just wanna show you guys, I always have something else going on. Like, look, this is just boiling away. I told you guys I soak and I pre-boil grains. This is just going on while I'm like right over there doing the cooking. So subhanAllah, you can always get two things done at once. This is completely mindless. I don't need to even pay attention to this. I'll just let it boil, then I'll let it cool, then I'll bag it up. So one of the key ways I stay out of the kitchen is I have meats and I have meat dry. I have like really awesome spice mix and I let them marinate before I actually freeze them. And then that way, like when I'm in fasting in Ramadan, I just take them out, put them into the oven, forget them. And it's like I stayed a lot of time in the kitchen, but I really didn't. And I just add things like garlic and onions and everything, make it super amazing. All right, so I just wanted to show you that you could take the Yemeni spice mix that I had made in the other video and you can use it to make honey. I will just let these melt. I should have taken these out before, but I had it. These are the garlic. See, I didn't have to like chop any garlic, onions, nothing. I just like had the spices that I made fresh. I had the garlic that I had pre-done. Um, so some of these here, they're already like defrosting. I just should have put them out and I didn't, I wasn't ready. Uh, but if, you, if you're if you smart enough, like you take them out first, you defrost them, they just go right in. But I'm just gonna let them defrost a second probably put this in the fridge and then um, just mix it all up. Now this meat I could actually use for kepsa. I can use for any type of stew. I've pre-marinated it and it'll have a really nice flavor with rice. Um, this I would probably slow cook in the oven like all day. I wouldn't have to do anything. I'd just add some like tomato and onion or something just to slow cook it. Um, and that's basically it. You take it out and it'll like fall off the bone. Or if you really wanted to, you could put it on a barbecue after you had, you know, whatever. But like at the end of the day, like it's so many options, but it will taste amazing because I had made the spices myself and um, I have pre-marinated it like just the time it needs and literally the day of I just pull it out. So these are the Korean short ribs. We're going to actually do them and um, I'm going to start with my marinade here, make the marinade, put it in and then just like these and then bag them all up. All right, so the garlic melted and then I just rubbed it into here. I'm telling you right now, this is how to be so flavorful with all of the spices that we literally toasted ourselves and then ground down. And then I'm gonna make it into, like I said, I can use it for anything, for the base of anything, for a kebsa, for a stew or anything. Anyway, alhamdulillah. So then I'm just gonna marinate it overnight and stick it in the freezer. And I just whip it out every day. I can even portion this into two if it's, if I can use it for two different things. It's honestly like, I'm gonna have no work in Ramadan. It's gonna be so flavorful. 
right, so this is the yummy meat. It is going to be, um, it's all marinated or marinating. I'm going to do it overnight. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to label it. And then inshallah, this is the island. Um, honestly, it's going to be like the fastest kebsa you've ever done. And here, like I said, the garlic is melted. It melts pretty fast for the honey. So I will rub it all in. And then I will um, put this into a bag as well and label it inshallah, this is the island. So as you can see here, it is five cloves of garlic half a large onion, thinly sliced, sliced five green onions, the soy sauce, three tablespoons, one tablespoon uh, sesame oil, two tablespoons sugar. An Asian pear is better. And if you don't have it, you could just literally omit it, but there, it makes a really nice, it, it um, how do we say it? It breaks down the meat. Um, and so it's really, really nice for tenderizing the meat. Sea salt, black pepper, and then you're supposed to use thinly sliced beef. Now you are, but I'm going to show you that I'm going to literally just use this for today. Although, yes, you should have thinly sliced beef. If you do that for the barbecue, it is ridiculous. It's really, really nice. But because I don't have that, I'm just winging it. And I'm just showing you that you could do things like that. As long as you have a really nice marinade, you marinate it long enough, it'll get in there. If I might want to like take my, my knife and poke holes into it so it could really get between the meat. If I want to, I might want to try to cut these out. But the point is... It's versatile, guys. You don't got to make it complicated. Whatever you have, whatever cuts you have. But yeah, thinner is better. And in the large bowl, you're just going to combine all the ingredients except the beef. And then just add them and refrigerate at least 30 minutes or overnight. So I do it overnight and then I throw it in the freezer. And it's ready for Ramadan. So easy. At that point, I could just take it out and barbecue it. And that's about it totally honest i have also hiding in here some dough that is proofing um i'm doing a lot of things at once alhamdulillah i mean like you just plan it that way it's so easy while well, well, marinating the beef all right so i just want to show you guys how 100 percent easy this is like i said you should have thinly sliced beef but if you don't it's like not the end of the world i'll just like get this to marinate um but so basically i have the onion i have the green onion i have the garlic here i like to use brown sugar black pepper salt some soy sauce excuse me and then uh, sesame oil all right so we're gonna put the onion in and then we'll move on to the other onion so like you're just making it as thin as possible it's all gonna go in a bag and just get marinated up with this so no worries it doesn't have to be pretty I am eyeballing everything today because that's honestly how I cook. I'm not gonna, I already gave you guys the measurements so you know, but I, I eyeball um, everything because I kind of know by now, like I got the salt going on and the sugar going on and whatever. Now, if I did have it, I would blend the Asian pear. I just haven't gone to H Mart. I ran out of Asian pear. And um, yeah, that's about it. I would stick that in here next, but I'm gonna put the sesame oil oh my gosh it makes it so good sesame oil now i'm gonna just put the soy sauce and that is about it it's ready to go i'm just gonna mix it all up and throw in the beef with it now because i don't have the thin beef i have scored the meat i just literally like came here and i just stabbed it up and then i you know just to make sure the marinade gets in there and it's going to be over there overnight, so it'll be okay. Just do a couple more and all this, and then just throw it in the back. And that's it. And this is the tricky part, not going to lie. I can't do this with one hand. I don't have my stand for the camera today. But normally, whoop, whoa, alhamdulillah. Most of it went in there. Just scrape a little bit out. You can see, but I'm going to get it all in there and then mix it up good. All right, so that is it. That is the marinated short ribs. Now, like I said, this is supposed to be traditionally, like this is going to be sacrilege for a Korean because they're going to be like, oh, it should be thinly sliced beef. Now, how I did, have I had done this with thinly sliced beef? Let me tell you what would have been even better is you could have had a whole bunch, like a big, imagine a big piece of meat here and I just thinly sliced like the whole thing up and then I could do the marinade and I could probably make three or four dinners out of it and section it off. Um, forgive my napkins, I'm cleaning up. But I'm just telling you like, it's going to be so good so yummy especially on the barbecue obviously in the barbecue i'll just clean all the stuff off and put it straight on so good again like literally while i'm doing that i have some dough on the counter Ugh, a little bit too much oil but alhamdulillah um just ready for the next thing that i'm gonna do and i always have something like that on the counter just covered separately this one happens to be for sahan all right, so here's the thing. The last marinade I'm going to show you is the Sudanese charcoal chicken. So easy and delicious for barbecuing. We're going to use the Sudanese spice that we made. Um, here's the thing. I don't have any more chicken because I did so much marinating of other stuff. But that's okay because I could just literally make the marinade, put it in a bag, and then when I, and freeze it. And whenever I have the chicken, maybe this week, I'll defrost it, 
do the chicken and then marinate it and freeze it like I normally would. So, and don't forget down below we have the recipe book. So it is garlic first and salt. And this is about eight cloves of garlic. You can't tell. Maybe I could put maybe one more in here, but the truth is like I've already pre-minced them if you've watched before. See, it's all pre-minced. I think I put about three. I could probably put one more or, one, or half of one left. I'm literally just gonna eyeball it, but the measurements are there. I like to put a bit more. And that's it. I'm gonna mix it up and put it in a bag. I can add chicken to it anytime. All right, so once I mix it up, this is literally what the marinade looks like. It is meant to go straight down to chicken. So yes, I don't have it today, but um, oh my gosh, the, um, how do I say it? The spices, they have this smokiness to them. It's just absolutely delicious. Like, and so if you wanna add oil to loosen it up a bit, a little bit, you can, but just make sure you add an amount of salt, you know, to taste, but it is so good. And then once you marinate this all day because of the yogurt, it breaks down the chicken and then it goes into the barbecue. It is so good. All right, hope you guys enjoy that one. I wanna show you, this is the Sudanese chicken after I have it marinated. I took some of the marak from it, like the marinade, excuse me, and I put it with the vegetables. And so I'm about to throw it on the grill and show you what it looks like when it's done. Again, there's always like something sleeping while I'm doing everything else. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do today, again, it's not in the cookbook, but it is just parsley and mint and it's um, paprika, two teaspoons, a teaspoon of ground cumin, salt, a quarter teaspoon, red chili pepper, um, two teaspoons of olive oil, two teaspoons of water, and um, like mint leaves. So yeah, mint and parsley, you're gonna see them in the mix up, it's so beautiful. And this will just be barbecued grilled lamb chops. These have an absolutely gorgeous color. The sun is going down, I'm just trying to guys see. Once I just literally marinate these overnight, I will grill them up any day of the week. These are lamb chops, absolutely beautiful. All right, so the theme of this month in this whole video is mindfulness. And I just wanna show you in about, I know it doesn't look pretty, but it will be delicious. And I'll be sharing them all on the line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because honey, I will cook them separately. Eight, I could even make this two. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 days of cooking on the line done. Korean short ribs, charcoal, Sudanese charcoal chicken. The chicken's missing, I have to just throw it in. Kebsa, kebsa, fried chicken, actually, fried chicken. This will be, these are just treats for when people come over. Um, this is barbecue chicken. This is Moroccan marinated lamb, Moroccan marinated lamb. Honey, the Yemeni honey, the Yemeni honey. And this could be, yeah, the kebsa. 12 days of cooking, two hours, two hours. Half a Ramadan done. All right, and then I also have over here on the side um, steaks. So this is the exclusive marinade. It has like a balsamic, so it's a bit darker. So it's been marinating for a little bit here. And then this is the chimichurri one. And with the chimichurri one, I have a really nice like a skirt steak type of style. And you could actually blend up the leaves. I was just being a bit lazy today, but you could actually put them in a blender so it's like more of like a thin sauce on it, but uh, you know, marinade, excuse me, but I was lazy. But this is great for when company comes over, you're like, oh, I have some steaks, throw them on the barbecue. And they're so, so flavorful. So have these as well. All right, so now I'm gonna quickly label it. This is the exclusive steak marinade. And don't forget to date your stuff. So um, I'm gonna do that here. And we're gonna go, we're gonna go put them in the freezer. All right, so these are labeled and then they're gonna find their place in the freezer. Now, some people might think, oh my gosh, this looks like so much stuff. For me, this is, um, it's like basically three weeks worth of food. Sometimes I will end up doing, I have a big family and I have people come over and that can be stressful. And I literally just don't wanna take my attention away from a lot. So we have, again, the grains and things, we have the breads on one level and we have the meats and we have the sauces. And I will finish the sambusa. I'm upstairs rolling them now and the fish is here. So. Really, really, it is a sigh of relief because I have very little work to do. I hope you guys enjoyed how we did the marinade video. And at the end of the ebook are tons of cookies. This one happens to be one of my favorite, which is Matt Mul. This is to die for so buttery and delicious not like doughy and floury like the ones you buy in the store and if you go in there we have other cookies that are moroccan and many other ways to end your meals really sweet but again thank you again for joining us do not forget that if you go down below in the links you'll get the ebook 
totally free, whether you use it for this Ramadan or the next. Never have to stand in the kitchen again. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make your Ramadan fasting easy and your cooking light.